Alright, so it's been a while. It's been a while since I actually uploaded anything, yay. Uh, but more Kerbal Space Program, because Kerbal Space Program is awesome, and I've done a lot since the last recording. So yeah, you're not going to get a continuous, like, uh, proper, proper, um, hmm, career mode. Playthrough, whatever. What have we got, then? Like, uh, all around, everywhere. We got the Mun 1, of course, and then we got the landing side of the Hammer, which was a mission that was... Mm, uh, half half disaster, I dare say. The quad lander, which could not quite make it back. It was probably yeah, it was my first attempt to go to the moon and back. I think uh, I found the ark. The ark, or is it the arch? Hmm. Anyway, Moon Highlands, Twin Craters, East Crater, Minmus Midlands, Minmus Great Flats, Minmus North Pole, Mon Polar Crater, Mon Northern Pole, and we got a. That's cool and creepy. Whoa. Yeah, we got a core of a space station. Uh, what does this look like? Probably something really embarrassing. Oh yeah, it's this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty bad core. If anything, it should be... I don't know. I just thought it looked cool. Don't judge me! No! Ugh. Anyway. So, I was thinking, we want to go to Duna. That's the task we've got ahead of us. Uh, but, in order to go to Duna, it's going to be really expensive. My credit count is pretty darn high though, so I guess that works in my favor. Uh, first and foremost, we want to fucking... Oh, did I press launch? No, good. We want to accept some, uh... Missions, or... Yeah, missions. Um, hmm. Explore Duna. I is Ike around... Is... Hmm. Is Ike around Duna or is Ike around Eve? I can never remember. Uh, I guess we want to go to Duna, so we'll do Duna. Ah, <sighs> mission to Duna. This is gonna be something else, I'm sure. How do we want to do this? This is gonna need science. All the science. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> right, here we got me just building up everything. It took a really, really quite a long time, so I think this is like, I was, I was back and forth in between how I wanted it all, uh, it was just a, a lot of tedious, long, slow, work and I, I I really think you wouldn't have enjoyed watching that in real time because it would have, I think this was actually the biggest part of the video possibly possibly getting into orbit and you know accelerating out of the carbon system which is later yeah of course um I was I was like oh, is this gonna get Duna I don't I don't know the, the, the top part there is for the actual landing and lift off on Duna. Uh, I'm not even sure now if it works. Still a long while left until we actually get there. And that's the drive part and then of course I had a lift off part from off of Kerbin. This is gonna get us at least into orbit, I ho I was hoping at the time. Um I lowered the boosters there to ninety because, you know, it lasts longer that way. Uh it's just a lot of lot of small tinkering added a lot of the, the these little boosters separatrons uh so that when i decoupled those uh, big uh, engines there it wouldn't just smash into my other engines and destroy them um so always a very important don't crash your like separated parts into the rest of your spaceship you will ruin your mission mission to duna all right
and there it is there it is in all its glory all its beauty but back to my old self again good luck all right so Duna won and who gets the honor to go to Duna well let's just send someone we saved from orbits shall we see fell actually no I don't trust you see fell you creepy son of a bitch Sean Rod, the bravest of all the Kerbals I do believe that this is all set up in this monstrosity of a vessel um, might actually make it if not well then fuck me in the Gotas and that's just fine too, isn't it? Um... Alright, alright. So, do you know. Oh, there's a bit of stabilization issues there. That's alright, that's alright. Maybe we can do this. Oh, it's taken off rather nicely. All things considered. Accelerating at a pretty good speed, actually. It's, uh, accelerating at a speed. Um, uh, that language, that language right there is not even English, I don't even know. Alright, so you'll notice all of these fucking Sceptrons. Uh, that's just to ensure that the, these don't collide with that when I separate things. Uh, yeah, I don't know about Duna, maybe, if we're lucky, maybe, we'll see. If not, then um, maybe we could at least visit the moon. So there we go, that's those gone, and next up are these. go, they're gone! Perfect! Could not have wished for a more perfect se separation there. That was excellent. Hmm. This thing is rather large though. Oh, I just... Oh, I don't know about this man. It's... It is questionable whether or not this is going to make it all the way there because it is rather far. It remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. I think you think it might work. Might not. Hmm. So here I decided to just fast forward times eight or sixteen or whatever it is. Uh, because, you know, launching into orbit, that's something you've probably seen before if you've ever watched the Kerbal Space Program. You know, just a standard launch, a bit of a higher orbit than normal, but back to my old self again. And so, enjoy. we're now moving into orbit, uh, after which uh, we'll probably have to separate these. I mean, they are running out of fuel very quickly. Um, this is not a pretty craft. I won't deny that, uh, but uh, maybe I haven't actually done any math or physics or anything about this. So you know, it's a it's a fucking guess on my part, honestly. Um, all right, now let's see. Where is Duna? Duna is over there. Actually, we want to escape Kerbin first, don't we? Direction. We want to escape Kerbin around here. Maybe we could use the moon to our advantage. No, whatever. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, the scroll wheel is your enemy. The scroll wheel is your enemy. I would love to use the moon though, just as a fucking slingshot. I'm 
unfortunately that would be a slingshot in the wrong direction. Go ahead and do that. It's fine. So I actually am ending up using the moon as a slingshot after all. Uh, I thought it might be fun. I haven't really done it before. Uh, not a lot. You know, every bit helps. Every uh, Delta V that I can save now, I can use later. So, that's a good thing. Um, it would be sort of in the right direction. Uh, yeah, here we go. The uh, We're going to pass the moon relatively close. Yeah, we just did, actually. There we go. <laughs> Bye, moon. See ya. So, yeah. Uh, come in. Periapsis here. That's great. Uh, got a bit of an angle, but that's not much to worry about. Let's be honest. Um, yeah. So, we probably saved about, uh, I don't know, 100 meters per second delta V. Maybe. Probably less. But, yeah. And we now are on a trajectory out of Kerbin. Yeah, escaping Kerbin. Hi, Kerbin! Oh, what was that? Oh, that was the Periaps. Sean Rod Kerbin takes... doesn't take a lot of because... Software glitch update before flight. Oh dear. Oh yes, and I realized something else that was uh, rather mm, uh, a bit of a downer, let's say. Uh, this part doesn't have any control, and this part has all the RCS. So, when I decouple this on the return trip, with, um, I'm going to explain this a little bit. This part is the drive, drive, drive part, which will decouple when we go in for the landing on Duna, or possibly Ike, I think it is. Um, which is the moon of Duna. Uh, anyway, this drive part is supposed to get me there, and this lands, and this takes off all on, all on its own. I'm not sure this is going to be able to land on Duna, actually, but I think about it. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Mm, remains to be seen. We'll try, we'll try, and if it doesn't work, then, well, uh, I guess we'll quick load, or maybe not. Mm. Maybe I want to send a res rescue mission. Anyway, uh, then this is supposed to, you know, re uh, reconnect this to that there. The Clampatron docking port, yeah. And then this is supposed to take us back to Kerbin. Of course, this doesn't have control and all the RCS, so it's going to be relatively tricky to connect this to that after we've been on Duna. That, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah. So now we just kind of wait to escape Kerbin. There we go. Alright. Duna is there. Are we behind it or ahead of it? Oh, I just removed it. I think we might be... Oh, we're getting close now. Get a clo as close a of an approach as possible. 
Can we get an encounter? Oh, I think we had one there, yeah. There it is. Uh, what's the 30,000? Well, we can edit that later. For now, in 124 days, 124 days, this mission will enter phase two. Uh, so we can probably do a few things before then. Maybe put a rover on the moon or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, have a good one. Bye.